Hey, what's up guys, it's Yeti here. Today we will be talking about Jet. Welcome to my Jet guide. So Jet is actually my second favorite character at the moment in Valorant, but she might make her place to be my favorite character in the game because she is just super fun. I've been playing her a lot today, you know, to make some analysis for this video. That being said though, let's get into it. So Jet is an aggressive character. She's kind of like Yasuo from League of Legends, but in this game, if you guys played Overwatch previously, you could also compare her to Genji because she's high mobility, high risk, high reward, a very damaging all in kind of character that requires a lot of skill and very, very good timing all around in the game. So. Her first ability is called Cloudburst, and it's a throwable smoke grenade. It's the worst out of all smokes currently in the game because it's a very, very small sphere, and it also lasts only a few seconds. That being said, though, you have a total of three of them. They cost 100 each, so 300 to get all the three charges. And you should still use these. Uh, you can actually curve the ball while holding down your C ability, uh, key. So, you know, first C... Just pressing will just send it straight, like a normal smoke. And then if you hold the ability down, you can curve with your mouse to make it go into areas that you cannot see. I don't think it's as good as, let's say, Breach's grenades, or not as good as Omen's grenades, which are actually on cooldown, and they can be used in other ways as well, like TPing into them and stuff like that. But they're still okay. They're still there. Uh, use the fact that they have a very short duration to your advantage. Throw it at the enemy. Close the gap. When the smoke clears, try to get the kill. That's her, personally how I use them. It's not a very good ability, but it's still pretty cheap and it's a part of her kit, so we have to make use of it. Her second ability is called Updraft, and it's a jump kind of ability. It basically makes you, combine it with your passive, which we will talk about in a second, combine it with your passive, you can basically get to any high ground in the game. It's, in my, it's my favorite jump in the game um, compared to Raze, which has a grenade detonation C4, which makes you jump up, or Omen's TP that takes a lot of time. This is my favorite by far. It's also the loudest one, uh, which enemies can instantly know where you're going, but you should be very unpredictable with this ability. You can get on high ground, and this is actually where I think that jet players that are good will shine, because they will get on certain high ground abilities while nobody else knows that they are on at the moment. Her signature ability is uh, called Tailwind, and it's a dash. You get one dash for free every round, and you get additionally two dashes, or actually, excuse me, you get one dash every two kills in that round. So it's same as Phoenix, for example, or uh, same as Rage's signature ability. This can be used either defensively or aggressively, but if you're going to use it aggressively, you have to keep in mind that there's a bit of a downtime after you dash, that you're going to be pulling out your weapon, and that's when you can be an easy target for your enemies. But if you're using it defensively, Let's say you're uh, trading with someone, you shoot out a burst, it misses, or you don't transfer your recoil well, you just dash away. You take no damage. Even if you're slowed by the enemy bullets, you can get away. And this is actually, in my opinion, the best thing about Jet right now, whenever I'm playing her, is that even if I whiff a shot, I can back out and get a full reset. This can be also used in combination with your Q ability with updraft. You send yourself up in the air and you're holding space to use your passive, and you dash mid-air forward. Very, very strong, very, very good. Now let's talk about her passive. It's not written down anywhere, but her passive allows her to float in the air while holding space. Basically gives her very, very slow fall rate. And she's the only character that I'm currently aware of that has a passive in Valorant, and it's a very, very good one because you can do certain things, jump to certain high ground spots, even without using your abilities, because she has this. So that's very freaking nice. It's very, very cool. Uh, keep that in mind. Whenever you're playing Jet, you do not take fall damage at all. You can jump from anywhere, hold down space, glide in the air. You can glide over Molotovs. You can glide over smokes. You can glide over all kinds of stuff. But keep in mind, when you're in air, your accuracy is awful. It's really, really bad. Now let's move on to her ultimate, which is called Blade Storm. It's a super strong ultimate, however, it has to be in the right player's hands because this ultimate requires a lot of good timing and aim and just the knowledge of which click to use at which time. So your primary rate of fire shoots out one of the five daggers and it does 50 damage to either legs or chest and it does 150 damage to the head. So it one shots anybody in the head. If you're hitting, uh, let's say, chest shots and leg shots, you have to have three out of five or, you know, one shot headshot. And after you get a kill, it resets and you get all five of them again. But 
You can also right click it and shoot out an instant all five daggers. And if this hits, if this connects, bam, insta reset and you will have again five knives with you. This is very, very strong, especially in a close quarter situation. Think of it as some sort of shotgun. These blades are still accurate, but I do think that this is more useful in close quarter situations because from far away, you don't know if your crosshair is exactly on point. And if you do, press that right click, you know, why not? If you will kill anyone with a direct hit while you're right clicking. So keep that in mind. And the resets can go for as long as you're getting kills. Also, whenever using this ultimate, you have very high accuracy while moving around. This is, I believe, the only type of damage where you can move around and basically have no penalty for moving. So whenever you're popping this ult, you can glide, jump, dash, do all kinds of stuff like that. Play very aggressive and still get those kills. That's the thing about her ult. A lot of people don't know it gets resets and there's alternative fire. So I really wanted to go more in detail with her ultimate here in this video. So yeah, Jet is going to be very, very useful if you're going to know how to get on high ground, how to move around the map. She's a very useful flanker, but I don't think she's someone like Sage who you need in your team necessarily. I would easily say that Jet can be replaced by either Omen or a Raze. So if you have one of those on your team that can get to enemy high ground, you're already have basically most of the usefulness to the team, you know, checked. However, in solo queue, she's very, very strong and very fun. And, you know, if you guys are playing, let's say, Omen and someone picks Omen, try out Jet. You will probably enjoy her as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much my guide and overview of her. If you guys want to see more of my actual gameplay, make sure to check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Yeti. I stream pretty much every single day. Thank you guys for watching my video, and I will see you soon. Have a great day. Good night. Later. Set it all on fire I can't be safe So I get higher And take my soul Throw it in the fire I can't be safe So I get higher Wish I didn't Turn to a Never see me again When I